Hey guys, Daniel here from Envision Gaming and we're going to be doing a conveyor belt today in our Redstone Creations. This is episode 7 I think. And yeah, well this is the conveyor belt. It moves you along. Just four pistons underneath it is that pushes it around. Uh, depending how long you make it, it depends on the variations you can do inside. But I've got two slab, two slab, two slab, one slab, one slab, two slab or something like that. But let me show you. Okay. So you stand here, wait for a free slab to come, you get dropped into that, and you'll just slowly get pushed along. And take the other side, so I'll show you again. Okay. Oh, crap. And as you can see that this is just simply powered by a simple just just a loop. It's just a simple redstone loop that can be easily stopped by just breaking one piece. Okay, I'm going to show you how to build that. So first of all, I start. I started with I do over here. I started with an arch. So you do a three high arch. Five long, so it looks like that. Then you're gonna pull this out as far as you want to go. So if I if I just do a short one for now, save time. Uh, do the same arch again. So now you've just got the basic. As you see, that's just this top bit here. I removed it. You've just created this basically. I've added a film, but you've created this. Okay. Next, you're going to work out where your pistons are going to go. So, get out a piston, just normal piston. And place a piston here, like this. Leave that one back. Yep, okay. So two back from the arch, you're going to place a normal piston. So basically when... I'll do, yeah, I'll do, I'll do that for... Okay, so now you've got that removed them blocks. I'm going to show you what happens. You put that on, that pushes it, and that starts off your cycle going around, basically. So, yeah. So you place another one. As you see, it's just slowly pushing it around. Okay. Next is to do this one up here, which will be pushing to the side. So, all you're going to do is literally put it there. So, when a block's on there, it should just push it out. Yep. And then you want it to push back down here. So, you do the same as what you did on that side over there. You place the piston in two away. Like so. I don't think I've think done too far. No, I haven't. I'll go right over there as well. The two weight, which should then push it back down to finish off the cycle, like so it will. Okay, and you need the last one just to finish it off, which is back here again. And yep, that powers it right. Now you need to do the timing, so add an extra block to each one so you can put a redstone repeater on. Okay, just simply do that. Okay, this one has two. Okay, and the uh, ticks are no none. Two full ones for that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just gonna break that off background to here. They must all be connected, so bring that round. We just make make sure the redstone can reach. If the redstone doesn't reach, it will mess up and break it. So yeah. Okay. So that one will be on. It's this one just powered from behind this time. It's one. So that's one. And then you've got to connect this side up. Wh 
which is on, let me just check, one as well. So now, if you do this, it should all come on at different times. It'll be this one, then that one, then that one, and then this one. Okay, now just on to making a simple redstone loop. I do them all, I do four redstone repeaters on full. Don't have to, it's up to you how fast you want it to move, but I just find that really the safest way to go. So now you've got your loop, simply just link it up and I'll show you and then I'll add in the blocks to show you, yeah. And it's not reaching, there you go. So it's that one, that one, that one, and then finally that one. Okay, let me break that. Okay, now we're going to put in the blocks. So I'm going to do cobblestone, stone slab, cobblestone, stone slab, just all the way around. Uh, cobblestone, stone slab. Make sure you leave that corner and that corner over there free. And it should work. Okay. I'm hoping I don't end up with an extra one like before because that just made it annoying. It, de it just depends what pattern you really want to do. And I think that's worked perfectly. And now I've got, an e I've got an extra one in by it. Stone slab, stone, look, cobblestone slab, cobblestone slab, co cobblestone slab. Okay, so now you literally just cover it up like I did before, depending how you want to cover it up. I'll cover it up like I did. I just like the way I did it, which is just simply that. I'm not sure what I mentioned earlier, but I'm, I'm classing this as an easy redstone tutorial. I think it was quite easy and quite simple. It's only really small, but yeah. So. There we go. Yeah, pretty simple. You can probably make this quite long. Don't know how long, but yeah. Probably make it turn other ways. Well, probably worth it. I don't know what you can do with it, but if you do do anything with it and like it's really long or something like that, like a t like a tour with it or something. Please post a video response down low, down uh, down below, or post a comment. Show me it, because I'd love to see what you've done. So yeah, remember rate, comment, subscribe. Yeah, thanks.